Salutations there, and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi 4, which we're playing as Turkey. Now, this is the peace deal that we have been left with after the end of last episode. Let's take a look at the, the faction map mode first, in which Poland is in the Allies. Someone said from the last video that I should puppet them, and well, I don't really need to, since for now they're still in the Allies, in which we are pretty much ready to go to war with the Soviets. Uh, let's see. We are in the Allies, and they want me to help out, help out to take out Japan. Which has become very, very, uh, well, I'd say kind of large, kind of kind of frightening, to be honest with you. But this is a peace deal. Kingdom of Greece is still, of course, within the Greek. They're still alive. We want to take out the, actually, I gave Bulgaria, like Macedonia, and court it for them, basically. We have Vladiv, which, uh, do you see this? This is their, hold on. If that's, that has to be their core, right? Like, and we also have the state chester tool mod that works here. Okay, then. Please tell me that this, please tell me that this is actually core. I mean, of course it's laggy, it's 1944. Let me record, record that. That is unsettling, like, why do you have this as a non-core? But regardless, it took over half of Romania. I gave the... Common turn, Czechoslovakia, I gave them Hungary, I even gave them a good chunk of Yugoslavia, which I know these boards are terrible, but I figured this is okay, and we gave the Americans Albania, which has a lot of resistance right now, it is what it is, I don't, I wasn't exactly sure what to make of it, I don't want to fight the Japanese though, and the allies are still of course trying to kill off the common turn, which is a good thing for us, but I'm just kind of hanging out, having a good time, letting them kill each other, patrolling the skies, you know, doing good stuff. Until, of course, we eventually leave them. And we should probably do that, but we need to do this as well. Hmm. We can leave. Let's see what happens. For now, let's go ahead and do... Earth bases. Expand the fleet, the naval base. By expanding the gold kook... Naval base, we will be able to support our strategic goals in the Strait and the Aegean Sea. Well, we'll see what happens. Most definitely, because we will take these guys out. But I want to save it for a little later, because when we do this, we're going to piss off so many people. Dangerous foreign policy stance, in which we want to rebuke the Treaty of Cars, get some claims. And then I'm probably going to liberate the Turkish dis Disporza, Dispora. We won't do this, because as much as I want to do that, we still can do this and get a core in Azerbaijan. In which we still need to take out, of course, the Bulgarians, which we'll do earlier. we got to go to war with the Greeks. And have the tourist honest ambition. The Allies are definitely trying to put in work against the Soviets, which is good. Let them get weaker. I don't want to lose my own soldiers against these guys. They have not a lot of manpower. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're still building up our roads, which is great, great, great. Oh, yeah, we did go to war with these guys, too, but whatever. Look at that lag. Do we actually have war goals against these guys? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, what is going on with you guys? I guess they, they still have to do with resistance. I mean, Macedonia is... I don't know anymore. I... I tried courting them once. We tried to court again, and this should work, right? Court, so that's actually your core. East Germany's capitulated? Oh, yeah, East Germany was here, but, oh, Poland's even bigger. Now, it's a colony state. Okay, now re it. Now, it's a core state. Oh, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the state change tool mod is not working currently. Uh, I guess it's good for time for us to go to war with these guys. I don't want anyone to get too strong here. Yeah, send those guys in. You guys are in the same place. And you guys are defending against those guys. Fine, 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 fine. I guess we can invade those guys, and you probably want to stop training for now. You probably want to go and do this stuff. We have some, it's a battleship. Two more submarinos. There you go. Good luck. And three cells all right there. Good luck with that. Nationalism, populism. Ooh, get, we could get some more fuel. That's not bad. Public recognition. We good. We'll do some of that stuff later on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 
And we're not at war with you, huh? That's weird. Maybe eventually. Maybe eventually. Make sure we do okay against these guys. He's looking pretty good, actually. Let's see. Casualties. The Allies have lost 1.61 million against the Greater East Asian Code of Prosperity Spirit, as well as against the Common Turn, huh? Well, we killed off 12,000 Soviets for now. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens here. They've declared war on Iran, which makes it a little bit more interesting, I would say. Even though we actually don't have a border against you guys. Which is probably a really, really bad thing. Well, if we can't do that, then you guys go right here. Actually, just reform the entire front line then. Because now it's all one big old front line. And this is the giant mess. But welcome to the giant mess here. Go and reform ourselves first. That's fine. That's totally fine. Allies versus the common turn versus the Japanese. It is what it is. And as soon as the war against the Soviets are done, then we'll leave the faction. Come on, guys. Can you move any slower? Yep, they probably can. Poland is doing... We're putting in a lot of work, though. Oof. East and West Germany, the fall of Vladivostok. That's a good thing for us. I don't need to see that. Thank you. Throw you guys right here because you were putting in work because you need to put in work. You guys are going to just kind of hang out for now. Got another submarino. You're not doing anything. Uh, I would recommend doing stuff. Probably. There you go. Mine not even in place yet. Now with them just being distracted and putting more soldiers where they need to put them. Hopefully the allies can do pretty well pushing in through here. So we'll see what happens. Gotta keep an eye on manpower. Even though we are mobilizing more, we're on service by requirement, which is okay. Not ideal, but okay. They're almost done moving. They're, these guys are only 20 combat width. Can we throw anything else on these guys? Hey, 1940s heavy ship hole. Not bad. It's almost 45, so better late than never, I guess. And support anti-air. Do we have any anti-air? We don't have any anti-air. That's sad. So go for the next one. Might as well. Only four research slots, which kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll deal with it. See what you can do. If you can do great, that'd be awesome. Take out the Romanians. What do you want? Oh, yeah, I guess... Hey, finally go to war with the Bulgarians, I guess. Better late than never, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Let's throw on some signal companies. No, just the companies. So, yeah, we definitely going need that for where we're going. You guys are over there. You guys are over there. You know, I'm going to retreat you guys. I, we need to take out the Bulgarians just in case real quick. And you guys are pretty speedy, so... Just please don't disappoint us. Please, please, please. We're doing fairly okay against these guys. Not great, but not fairly okay. We could liberate these guys, but now nah, we good. We still have Kurdish influence? Yeah. Conscription exemptions granted. Oh, boy. Iran, Iran, Iran. Hey! Romanian People's Republic has capitulated. Awesome. Hey, you know what you do with these guys? You kill them off. West Germany's been called in, too. And the U.S. still owns Austria. I gave it to that to them, but they're not doing anything with it, which is kind of disappointing. And, of course, these guys give it up to West Germany. Which is fine with me. More subs? Great. Level 4, not looking too bad, I'd have to say so, myself. Take that off. You probably don't need that. You don't need that either, probably. If you need to, you can come up here too. We're doing pretty well in the Caucasus so far, but maybe too well. Oh, look at that. Hey, it's like a Soviet sub. Not bad. Get to Bud Budapest. Because last time, Bucharest was a battlefield. Quite a dangerous one, too. South Africa, that's fine. Don't really care. Keep making more stuff. Ooh, we're actually overpaying for this right now. Kingdom of Greece, thank you. 
So we can grab more steel from the Americans. Hey, Bulgaria, thanks for playing. Nice. Eventually, we're going to need more of that stuff, but whatever. For now, we are okay. Uh, we're doing too well here. we got to shore up the line a little bit more. Come back, do something like that. Uh, we want the airbase. There you go. Go ahead and retreat. That's fine. Actually, we'll put you guys over here just in case. Just because I think you guys probably would do better over here than anywhere else. Oh, the Allies are definitely flooding into here. That's nice. Oh, they're fighting on every front. I hope that the Allies can take out Japan. I really hope so. I don't want to fight them. You know what? We probably don't have to. Maybe we could wipe peace out with the Japanese if we leave the faction, maybe? Doesn't make any sense why we should fight the Japanese. We've got no beef with them. Air Fort. So it needs to be taken out. Hey, some Soviet ships are going bye-bye. Nice. Lost 35,000, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Retreat for now. That's totally fine. Hey, there goes Yugoslavia, too. Awesome. So if that's the case, come on down here. And help out. Get to the line. Do your job. And we'll be home before Christmas. That's a lie. We're definitely not going to be home before Christmas. <laughs> definitely a lie. Definitely not going to get there in time. But what we probably need to do is build up oh, this little bulk of social student is gone. That's cool. Come on, get out of the battle. I just want to throw another sub on here. Level twos though. They're not. They're okay. They're not great. There you go. French convoys go bye bye. And that's okay. You guys looking pretty good. Just keep attacking if you can. Nice. Keep up the assaults. I don't think they can really stand up to this after they took forever to try to kill all the Germans. Alright. So, relocate the Yildiz Palace. We've centered our naval efforts around Kanakail and the Straits for far too long. It is time to finally act on our plans to expand the port of Mesnersin. Nice. So we got some convoys, which are okay to make. You got these guys, we got these guys. I'm thinking we could use a 1948 ship hole, which is okay. It's not ideal. Get more anti-air on that. Get some actual radar. Fire control one is okay. Level two is fine. A level two battleship armor kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But let's get some better engines. We'll have some better ships coming out soon enough. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, you're almost done. There you go. There you go. Because you guys are outdated. Nice. Good. Let's make a decent fleet, too. Cool. So we're actually doing pretty well where we're at. Not bad. Get down here if you can. And we're going to be... I don't know what territory we need. So hopefully when we get to the peace deal eventually... I can set it up so that I kind of know what the thing is going to have to look like. So if we get really, really close to defe defeating the Soviets, I will then go ahead and do the other focus, which kicks us out of the faction, so we can do our own thing. Now that takes 70 days, though, so we got to tell them it's quite right. Oh boy. Lost a convoy, huh? Not bueno. And down here, infantry, yeah, let's just do infantry, that'd be good. Helps our guys out even more. Do we have 40 combat with divisions? We kind of do. Just scrap these guys. There you go. Uh, Resource-wise, we're doing our plenty of artillery. Guns, motorized. Oh, my goodness. There you go. I know we probably don't have all the supply for it, but whatever. Oh, go ahead, guys. When you're ready. Ooh... Yeah, might actually be able to do pretty well right here if you wanted to. Maybe. Plane-wise, how are we doing? Doing about as well as you possibly thought we could.
Mm, there we go. We actually took the tower. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, wait, there's some ship stuff. Formation flying. Great. Grab some of this. Nice. Happy 45. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Go. 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 Break over. You got really nice things. Look at that. Half a million manpower. Not bad. We got Sevastopol. Can you all get over there? Ah, uh, they probably have ships down here, don't they? That sucks. Here goes a make a beeline all the way over there. Good luck. You're probably going to need it. So, oh wow. More casualties. We've killed 450,000 Soviets. Not bad, not bad. Drucky be looking kind of thick, though. Not going to lie. Shipwise are doing okay. I don't know how we're going to end up fighting the Allies. Hopefully they don't actually want to fight us. Because this is a lot of enemies. Holy cow. And they've yet to help us, really, with our... our our Iranian problem which is quite not ideal oh never enough political power why go 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 happy 1945 Definitely a long campaign for us, though. Woof! Oh, yeah, they're not looking good now. They're really not looking good. They're halfway to capitulation, too. We are we are slowly approaching Stalingrad, Moscow. Oh, we already have Leningrad. Or at least the Poles do, which is good. And they already lost Vladivostok to the Japanese. Oh, I don't want to fight the Japanese. What is America doing? Like, what are you what are you doing with your ships? We got 15 battleships, four carriers, 119, 191 destroyers, 21 heavy cruisers, 20 light cruisers, and four subs. It doesn't look like the battleships are very good, and neither are their carriers. The Yorktown looking okay. The Ranger class looking okay. FDR. Come on, man. Come on. At this point, just help out. I don't think the Soviets can really do anything anymore. They're fighting on a three-ish front war, so. Oh, Stalingrad's the capital. They must have lost Moscow. Nice. Ooh. We definitely want to finish that, but... Ooh, I don't know what lands to take to do to get, like, the Tarani Empire. I, obviously, I'm going to take a lot of lands that don't really belong to me, just so that we can get at least some of the lands ready for, like, integrating them and stuff. Ooh, look at this. Nice, 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 nice. The TCG Istanbul. Now that is peculiar. I'm gonna take, like, you guys, throw them right there. Because these guys gotta start going now. Nice. Very good. Hey, we've almost linked up. Novo Rossiysk. I have no idea how to pronounce. Russian words, I am not Russian, but trucking on to Stalingrad. So this is going to be a really, probably pretty ugly piece still, what we're about to do here. Oh man. Probably incredibly ugly. Oh man, look at this. You guys suffering from some sort of issues or here or something? What's going on? Come on, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. We oh, we have Stalingrad. Uh, what's next? We have all the four major cities. Oh, Baku. Oh yeah, we definitely need Baku. Oh, that'd be good to get. Nice. Very nice. Hey, three more divisions are perfect for what we need right now. So here's the plan. Before the peace deals fires, we're going to do this. It's 45. 
and this might be a shorter video, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys, so when the peace deal happens, we'll probably end the episode, but... Misak e Mili, the National Oath. After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire and the conclusion of the War of Independence, we voluntarily surrendered a great deal of territory that we held and dropped our claims on the territory. The world is different now, and the people in these territories clamor for our return. We shall oblige them. So then we create our own faction. We're gonna do, I will do this as soon as we are done with our war here, just because I don't know what territories we need to make this really, really, really good for us, or at least somewhat acceptable for what we will get and need. So... I'm going to do a little off-screen magical qual call it to make sure that we get what we deserve. And at least, not everything probably, because I don't want to be too unbalanced, but at this point, if we left the Allies, we have a lot of enemies to fight, so we'll see what happens. Come on guys, just give up. Give up. Put the Soviet way. Give up. Oh, we cut off the- Oh, we cut off the capital now from everything else. Oh, that they're done. Even if we don't get Baku, we can probably still capitulate them, actually. Should be a nice thing. Very nice thing, actually. No, uh, technically, I guess they're not... Well, technically, they are cut off, because they're fighting the Iranians, too, right? They're not. Yeah, they're fighting the Soviets, so... All this... All this land up here, getting very, 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 very little supply. We might just be eternally at war with the Japanese because they're looking pretty thick. Oh no. And we've done really well against them. We've killed over half a million of them. And the US has killed almost a million of them. Wow. 23%. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Cool. So here's what we're going to do I'm going to go and choose this one down here. Believe our faction. Hopefully things don't go too poorly and we can win the war before uh, the Soviets capitulate. Which would be a good thing. If you want to, you could probably sneak around him. And maybe you could go straight for Baku. That'd be kind of wild. Makachkala. Machakchala. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Are we mobilizing anymore? We are not. But we might want to save political power. We might be able to core things eventually. We do need to do this counter-fundamentalist operation stuff. That would be pretty important to do. Weekly stability would not be bad. It's best, probably best to save some political power, though. Come on, you gotta die, Ivran. You have to die. We're actually winning there. I wasn't expecting to win there, but okay. We'll take it. I'll take it. Actually, go right there if you can. If you can make it real quick, you can overrun those divisions. Okay, you probably can't. Just go down there then. Hey, division encircled and destroyed. God dang it, I hate Ivran right now. Why? You take so long to kill off. You can't even break through your lines. Oh, you got a lot of manpower, but you're on all adults serve, which is a good thing for us, but still. Library, join the allies. Okay, well, good good for you guys. These divisions are encircled. Awesome. How about down here? Get to Baku. We gotta get it. Atomic research, hey, a nuclear turkey? Better radar? Why not? Beautiful. Get those things in there. Go, 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 go. 90% of the way there. Come on. Take their stuff. They don't need it where they're going. Ooh, do you have an upgrade? Move 10% faster. Hey, we got Baku. Nice. Where's the capital? Oh, God. It's all been Kazan. Come on, guys. Keep going. Go, 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 go. You can extend the line to make it maybe a little bit easier for us to move. This is a lot of territory, though. Wow. But at least we got that oil. Which we probably don't need to trade for it anymore. Oh, look at this. Wow. Siam, France. Logistics 1 will be very beneficial for thick divisions. Hey, another tank division. Awesome. Yeah, for these guys. How much support equipment do we have? We've got plenty. Nice. I'll just throw it on these guys because we will eventually upgrade all these guys as well. So just get used to the amount of logistics we have for those guys. That'd be great. You guys as well. Might have enough. There we go. Make these guys 40 combat with. Great. Let's come over here. 
Man, get some better cannons first, because we're not done with this stuff yet. Yeah, I know. We'll make this soon enough. <sighs> These guys are already outdated. Kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll deal with it. We gotta get some better screens as well. Level 4. I mean, we'll make this for now. Obviously, it's not that great, but we'll upgrade them later on. Level 3. Render 1, 2. I don't think we've got anything else here. Nope. We can't even do that. God dang it. It's fine. They're still better anyways. So, boom. Boom. Cool. Ireland join the Allies. I want to make sure we can capitulate the Soviets before we do our own focus. And it's almost there. 98% of the way done. Awesome. We got Baku. We're finishing off the, the people down here in Tehran. Let's grab some dual purpose secondary batteries. That'd be great. Ship wise, how are we looking? Four extra ships. Not bad. Three. There you go. Good luck. You're probably going to need it. Oh, that's actually another sub too, huh? So many subs. Very good. Hey, we actually cut these guys off. Great, we actually made an encirclement here. And? Do we have a peace deal? We do. Beautiful. So, I will do the peace deal like we did yesterday off screen, but I hope you enjoyed this shorter episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will probably be in our own independent faction. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.